And well, I think the message is coming across very clearly. They do care. What's it going to do? But, he, but why would you think we don't? He ain't going to change his mind. Why? You don't know that. He isn't going to change his mind because he just said seven people were up here from his ward. That's why he don't have to change his mind, because he don't have to answer to them. Well, seven phone calls. I've got seven phone calls. Well, 6,000 people. If the 70 turns into 700, and people come off to City Hall, they're, they're there every Tuesday night. Uh, and my office is there every day. I think okay. every call that is connected, if people, you know, if that's the reflection, that they understand some of the dynamic of what has to be done, if we don't have the revenue, and they don't care, or they say, you go figure it out, and I guess... That's that your might, job. That's I know, that might, that might change In something. Andrew, I figure it, it out. Right. We don't want it, do something else. Right. Right. Whatever it is, and if it's cuts, you ain't going to have 85, you might have some firemen and police and public works employees out there bitching, yeah. But if that's your job, and the majority of the people in the city don't want this, and you have to lose some positions, well, that's the way life is. Life is difficult and tough. It's not losing some positions. Well, whatever it is, then you come back to us and tell us, that my alderman could have sat there and said to all those, the people that came to his meeting, this is what's going to happen. Now, we've got to talk about this. If we don't accept this program, we're going to have people well, like us. We tried to tell you that, and I'm not saying I know we've already voted the program, but... We try to explain the rationale for why we voted the way we voted. And nine people came from his, his district. Well, but, okay. you know, we're from all over here. You know, the point is, everybody, we get the point, nobody likes it. But the alternative would have been to cut $5 million of personnel out of, you know? Okay. And, okay. Uh, a couple of quick questions. One, are we going to get a residential composting program? And Paul Weston. Um, secondly, um, there is any procedures in place to stop the counterfeiting production of the bags. Can some of you go on the internet and order white color bag and put the same type of print on there? And right. Uh, second question again, we've used a we've used a contractor that is servicing. Uh, Certain amount of those, like 130 other communities that are doing the program and are doing it with a bag, some do it with a sticker. Uh, but as far as the counterfeiting goes, any accounting of it, uh, that's all something that is done just as you pay your taxes. It goes through our treasurer and controller's office, and the accounting mechanism on the bag program will be handled in the same way. Uh, but they're a company that is on the state bid list, and they perform the same service in other communities. Um, so the hope would be that we, if we have a big counterfeiting issue, then we'll have to deal with it somehow. Anyway, you put on some color bag on the street. No. Seven in the morning with the trash bag. The, the, the bag, the printing on the bag is fairly elaborate, so I don't know if it can be copied, but I suppose if somebody took the time and effort, they, they do it with all bills, they could do it with that. The composting program is something that, uh, you know, the DPW has taken up from time to time. It's, it can be a difficult one to implement in a, you know, an urban area. You know, some neighbors uh, compost is another neighbor's odor in some cases. So uh, it's certainly something, if you operate some channels, we can take under consideration. It's not the first time I've heard it. I think we, it's the same honor as like that. But, you know, I would love to see if most of my neighbors are doing it right now. Yep. And I just feel the community is lagging behind other people. Environmental? Right. And we're, we're, we're behind these 10 years. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry it's running late. I was able to get out of work late to get here. Um, one question. Uh, my name is Charles Flake. I live on 11 Wentworth Street, uh, Malden. I am a owner, occupied. Uh, I have a rental income downstairs. I don't know if this question's been redundant. If so, just forward me to the right person where I can get some info. Am I responsible for my tenants' bags at this no. point? Oh, okay. Just as long as, because I didn't know if they had to be on the voting list or who or what. Um, every individual resident is responsible for their own trash. You as an owner, uh, if there were, you know, continued violation of it, I'm sure we would ask you to try to either implement it in your lease or somehow make sure that we tend to I will rectify that in a bit, so um, I think we've got a tough task in here. Uh, I think you guys are doing swell <laughs> as best can. I believe there should have been some meetings too, but um, I don't think this is an easy task for you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
sorry, Bobby, my name is Sean Amon from the Fifth Station here on Street. One of my questions was, I know you have, you said you did consider other uh, cutbacks, but um, to me, I think that sometimes having fancy flowers outside or just decorations and stuff could be cut back with the landscaping company because we do pay a lot of our tax dollars with my landscaping. Now, you can't have against them. We're also a landscaping company, too, and that if you always change your flowers, certain trees up front, that it costs us lots and lots of money. Yeah, just so that I can, okay. just to correct, uh, you know, the statement, we don't pay for the landscaping. We pay to, the program was with private property owners, they pay for the landscaping. We pay for the preparation of the locations, the median strips, for instance. The city, 10 years ago, when I first came in, it was one of the first things they did. Still think it has some value, but at the time, we lifted up the concrete and put it in the water. Uh, and then we conduct a partnership with uh, mostly commercial landowners who pay um, the great bulk of uh, what you see that gets planted in all the public spots. And then also, um, maybe we have another question, yeah. also the child schools, like Lee was saying, that um, we do pay for the child schools, but the majority of kids that do attend the child school, I have six children. I had my kids over the last five years. I have six kids. Not one of them, I'm on my seventh kid now, not one of them has ever accepted me to the school which I feel like it's unfair. Now we have kids from Chelsea, Malden, Revere, Everett, being commuted in by their parents as long as they can. It's and a, we're paying for it. Why is that here? No, no, let's, hold on. It's a regional charter school. Okay. Every community that sends students to the school pays its share. So if there's a student from Everett, Medford, Stoneman, Wakefield, Malden, Melrose, each of those towns pays an allotment as we do for our students to go to school. saying that we don't pay for, if they come to the community, we're right. not paying anything for those children. No, we have a, a community of residents pays for. That was uh, for the child yes. coming from a different town. Yes. Another question, I do have a lot of children, and those recycle bins are very small. Yes. Having a family of eight, that be nine. I have five of them who recycle bins, and those are not really, like, Recycle bins that we do have. We, I have seen the ones in our with the covers. I get a lot of presents and rather have those. Something bigger. Yeah. They do, you have, do you have a rubber made What is it? Do you have a dowel? Yes. And I asked people at um, the place where I had bought it down on the Marshall Street yeah. if I could put a sign on my dowel. We, 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 right we needed to buy the, those bins. I had to buy nope. five of those bins. You have a sticker right here you can put on your dowel. You have a sticker that you can put on your dowel and you can make that a recycling container. You ran out? Okay. That was a question. Thank you. Thank you.